15 million dollars. 15. And you walk away clean. Yo, Germans like take the money. <laughs> What's going on? It's your boy Sintel with the Intel, and you already see Rakai is in the building. Let's go, champion. Hello, governor. Hey, yo, we about to get our gangster on. Because right now, Mama Griselda is still kind of Mama Bear right now, but we about to see it turn into a grizzly. It's happening really soon. Yes. Listen, if this is your first time watching, you need to catch up with episodes one and two. Don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. You can get to it super quick and make sure you stay to the end because me and Rakai, we're going to be chopping it up, having a bit of a review of what we just got done watching. And I already know it's going to be some, so make sure you stay. Without any further ado, let's get started. Oh, you know what that is. We have the dooms. <laughs> we have achieved the dooms. Yoga people. Instructor. Yeah. That's Dario. That is Dario. Can I get right. a lesson? Run me my, run me my money. I don't want any trouble, hey? No. Oh. Yeah, run Fuck me my this. money. Papa Mejia says hello. Wait, no. Mm. Oh. Hey. Oh. 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 Well, there we go. <laughs> Got the triple beam. Yeah. Those things are not cheap. That's a. Come on now. Keep thinking like that. Yes. Arturo. Mira. Mira lo que le traje a Osi. ¿Dónde está? A sala. Looks like a South American cichlid. <laughs> yeah, you got me on that one. Ah, ¿qué estás haciendo? Es un pez aguar y se tiene que estar yeah. solo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's not lying. He's going to eat all the little goldfish in there. He's going to, yeah. He's going to house everything in there. <laughs> That's some foreshadowing right there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Can't Thanks, play well with others. No. 95 puta montaña. Tracks. Oh, yeah, you he gonna wear all them scars mm -hmm. for yeah, life. It don't matter. Yeah. You didn't put him in a nicer house and give him nicer stuff. That don't matter. This asshole jumped me at my club. You have to kill him, Miss Blanco. Come <laughs> down, McEnroe. Why are you so rancorous? It's not just him. He's a lot of people out there shooting at them, including Milcar. Tell your boss that... I don't know. You were in a bar. So that wasn't Dario. Nah. No. To check on you. They know that he's around. They won't fuck yeah. with you. It was that curly heads do. His his people. Oh, Dario was like, "Well, shit, let's go." Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ralph a little excited about that. Una semana es que le rompan la cara a un bobo cagado como este. La otra semana qué va a hacer? Es que tener buena plata en la mano puede ser un gran final. Mm, you're out. He's a doper, Bill. Yeah. It's scary. He'd be kicking little sticks. Just fucking ass on him. He's an ass. Oh. Por un segundo. ¿Qué pasaría si yo dejo? The party supply business? Is that, is that what we're calling it? Mm. I mean, she's not wrong. <laughs> de viaje. ¿A dónde? Brasil. Australia. Hawaii estaría bacán. Uh, Hawaii. All the places are like, yes. Is that where the women are hot? Let's go there. Yo conozco a Chuck. Tienen preocupada. Oh, so she's smashing them, huh? Huh? Yo estaba muy enfocada. I mean, yeah. I mean, you know, membership has its uh, privileges. Usted lo perdés porque a mí las mujeres me han dicho que soy bastante buen conversador. Pero otras cosas. Las mujeres que les pagan. <laughs> oh, so y'all having this thing in secret too. Did you hear Dario said about he's good at sneaking in and out? Mm -hmm. So that nobody knows that he's with her? Because that complicates things too. Well, I mean, it goes back to that old adage that you don't you don't shit house. where you eat, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, y'all get lazy. Vos sabes que los únicos famosos no son los Ochoa. En Medellín andan preguntando por vos. Medellín, hey, that's Pablo. ¿Sabes cómo le dicen? 
la madrina. God, mother, ¿eh? Dile que dejen de estar inventando cuentos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're starting to get known there, little lady. Bienvenidos a las Bahamas. ¿Qué tal el vuelo? Muy maluco. Yeah, she like, like I'm not selling my business. A day in the Bahamas. He oído mucho de vos, mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. Man. Finalmente. Jeremy, Pernesso. Mucho gusto. ¿Qué tal, hombre? También yo les muestro una cosita. Vamos por aquí. And you That's show up with your supplier, too? That's dangerous. I don't know if she got more dangerous. than Dario, but... She got one hitter with one nine. Algún día montarme en un elefante. They probably got dudes down yes. here with me. Whoa! Ah. Yo! That's nuts. Pero llega un momento en que ya el negocio se nos queda corto y toca que expandirse. Entonces, ¿qué hace uno? Pues se asocia con unos amigos y se compra su propia puta isla al lado de Estados Unidos. Mm. Palmeras ni por la playa, no. Sino por la pista de avión privada en la que ustedes están parados. Vamos a mandar de a paca a la vez. He said, we'll send a bail at a time. Volamos dos veces al día, mandamos 100 kilos a la semana. Look at her, she's Los getting educated right now. Pero esto, yeah. That's a lot of weight though, golly. Yeah, this is all the federal, the DEA in your ass. You know what I'm saying? He flexed on it. Look, out of for every nose in America. Look. And Panesso's impressed. Ah, uh, yeah, see, they look, they brought us here to intimidate us. Yeah. Yeah. Yo soy proveedor, pero comparado con esta gente. Yeah. The show is man. Este tipo, pero por lo que más quieras, acepta. Whatever it is, take it. esto. How's it going with the witness? Dang, yo, when Germans even like, yo, you, you gotta run with this. <laughs> He's like, I can't compete with this. Here's the thing, though. Even though they did that to intimidate her in the flex, right now it's a sign of respect. Is to translate, make sure that the coffee is hot, and to get the witness to talk. Comprende. You're gonna have to go over his head, but you know it's that whole chain of command thing, right? Tienes algo útil que decir, dilo. Por ejemplo, ¿quién es esa? This is Marta Chua. Oh. Better to start fresh. I have to deal with all that shit. Mm. The Ochoas really appreciates what you've set up in Miami. Dang. They better push her out a little bit. For you to step back. Yep. And let us build on mm -hmm. it. But this is yeah, the buyout. Yeah, but this yeah. that was the reason why yeah. she went yeah. to anyways. It, yo! Yeah, yo! $15 Look. million. Dollars. 15. Mm. You walk away clean. Yo, the Germans like, take the money. Well, sometimes... Tearing down the house is easier than patching up what is rotten. Mm. But I don't see what is not to like here for you, Miss Blanco. You walk into the sunset to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Yeah. He's not lying. Worry about the cops. No, Some that's the thing, though. When you get a one-time payout, if all you're doing is I mean, spending, how long eventually that goes away. Germans is like, take the money. <laughs> <laughs> because he know he know at this point he's irrelevant. He needs the money. I can't accept your offer. <sighs> German is like, what in the same? Uh, can, uh, I, can I talk to you for a second? Like, uh, the Ochoas will own Miami whether you do this or not. There will be no consideration, no cierto? No consideration. Look, Dario ain't got nothing to say. Mm. Dario's like, shit, I gotta have some more hitters. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That buyout, yeah. That buyout was pennies on the dollar. An ocean of coke. That's true. Listen, we wouldn't be here if you didn't listen to me. Big facts. Debemos a nuestra gente. ¿Y yo qué? ¿Vos pensaste en eso? Tú me apoyaste cuando a mí nadie me apoyó. I ain't gonna forget about you. Just, just ride with me. Mm -hmm. Te voy a hacer mi socio. Hey. 25%. 25%. Good lord. Woo. Yeah, you sit back. You do what you do. 25%. Look, look, look. He ain't ranting and raving now. Cariño, yo a vos te respaldo en absolutamente todo, pero es que... He told her to take the deal, too. I mean, I can understand the fear, though. I mean, it's the Achoas, man, like... Still no first class. 
Hey, you okay? She came around, ain't she? Oh, yeah. The money. Let me know when you need your next batch, okay? Bye, sweetie. See you. You know, I take it back. It's not Arturo. She's the weak link. Yo no sé qué le vas a decir a ella cuando no haya un próximo cargamento. O no sé qué le vas a decir a las muchachas cuando mm -hmm. no tengan con qué traficar. I can see that, though. Una cosa es convencer a un huevón. Y otra muy diferente, convencer a 20. I do appreciate, like, the advice that she's been getting from different places. At least them showing us. I see a black man. Let's take out the black people in here. All right, come on. None of you take the fucking buyout. And then we're going to tell them that they're not fucking moving. He's still bitter. And all we have to do is fucking godmother. stick together. And we're going to make the big money for ourselves, for our families, and keep what is fucking ours. Yeah. Yeah. Bunch of weak yeah. ass men in that room. Buddy at the bar. He's it's, the dude that's going to bust it all it's up. Them, it's them two back at the bar. Even if it's coming out of this fucking bitch's mouth. <laughs> but here's the question. With the disrespect. We're going to share the profit the right between now. all of us, based on territory. No, 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 no. Who is the one in charge? Good question, though. Papa and I are here to see what she had to say. You think he's going to do it? Damn, yeah, my Pablo. Not right there. Not right there. Fold it. It was a good try. Snake, she got to kill him. His bitch ass. His she got to kill him. She got to kill him. This dude is so 70s. He's zesty in the room. Mmm, that's some trust. He like, don't do that. He's like, yo, what are you doing? Si no hay una teoría sentada en este carro. Alguna vez has estado vigilada por la policía y por la DEA las 24 horas. Mmm, yeah, you don't, you don't know about that heat yet. Mm -hmm. Lo están acorralando por todos lados. Yeah, that's right. Los ocho son la única luz que él puede ver. Mmm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yo, he just he just pulled your coattails. Use that how you can. He's yeah. like, I'm trying to help you. I'm gonna tell you something real quick. <laughs> but I hope that Revy had a chance to explain. Revy says so. I like Revy a little bit more now. Yeah, he seems very smart. Mm-hmm. Revy acting his acting his ass off. That actor. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. But I've always wanted to go see opera in Lake Como. They got this murder they want to get me for with this witness who yeah, may talk. Like, oh, a witness. He's like, yeah, I'm about to get up through. You want to spend the night? But to be yeah, honest, goes back to that. even that wouldn't change my mind. He said, that cut up ain't that good. No, take care of that witness, Grizz. No, as a, no, as long, you know what? You put Rivy in charge to be the next boss. Let a meal cut. Let uh -oh, a meal look, look. Go, on, go where he's going. You see her processing. Okay, let's see what she got. What's the counter? Yes. I'll kill him for you. Mm. Now you're in her pocket. Be suspicious if you do it. Yep. This way the heat on you dies. And you can join our fucking union. Someone else do your dirty work. Damn. And the way she said it, she said it sexy right. like too. I'll do your mm. dirty work. Do you think you want to be very clear? Que te va a costar esta decisión. He's right. Mm -hmm. You don't come back from that. Yeah, that's how you turn into O dog. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Businesswoman Griselda is gone. He's guilty of seeing something and trying to do the right thing. And that's the thing, too. You take him out. Hell, if anybody else is in the house. They got to go, too. Yeah. And once you start down that path, you just keep going. Y I mean, you know, he's got to cut his teeth, man. Listo. Listo. You're going to be a hitter for Griselda. Uh. Oh, and the baby. That shit got with that dumb shit. It's done. Oh. And you know, Dario don't do it. Mm. Like, do it in a penas unos meses. Mm-hmm. 
He's giving her an out too, though. He's trying. Second time. Do it. Awesome. Kill him. Yep. Woo! Yeah. Man, you ain't mama no more. <laughs> that that this innocence, this this moment of motherdom, it's done. Yep. Yeah, yeah, you gotta live with that. Because when with that, it's the whole family. It ain't just him, it's everybody. Mm-hmm. Mm. baby. Don't show the baby. Just just imply it. Jesus. Okay. Services will be here in about an hour. Woo! We need All right, they ain't heard the baby. They left a baby with her. Thank you. Now you saw how those dealers and Rafa that they snake only though. accepted anything if it came out of a man's mouth, right? Mm. Let me be clear. This is not me trying to take away something that's rightfully yours. Blow that smoke in his face. See a blood of smoke in his face. <laughs> but you're gonna consult me on every fucking decision. Behind the scenes, we work together. Mm. In public, mm. it's me. Mm. That's not gonna work. Mm -mm. Uh, Officer Hawkins, Julie Barnes, social services. Oh. That, this is the moment when she realized she's gonna be all in. Mm -hmm. It's the baby. Yeah. That baby gonna grow up and have so many questions. <sighs> I mean, he's gonna grow up in the system in Miami at that. Mm -hmm. That's a that's a that's a tough life. You get an integrated system with people who know the city. Probably end up being a dealer be for Brazil. With no infighting, and I will manage it all for you. She ain't even in the conversation. Look at this. Look, Rafa's is like, I don't want to deal with you. I didn't come to you. You know what I'm saying? Congratulations, partner. Sorry. I'm going to the restroom. Mm. She's going over here. Or she going to figure out. I mean, she it's a victory, but it's it's such a whack he victory. He can't wait to cut it out. Pero tú te merecías más que una simple Yep. Sociedad. Por ahora me funciona. I like Rivi. Cuando no te funcione más. Mm -hmm. Puedes necesitarme ahí. Mhm. Mm tu perrito guardia. <sighs> Mm. You know, it's like mm. mm. Revy see the big I picture, Rivi. man. I think that's why I like him, because Revy see the big picture. I think Revy's secretly gay, too. I can see that, too. <laughs> you were right as fucking rain. Mm. Prince are a match with Amal Car. You're joking. Oh, so, no, so he's getting ready to get taken out of the equation. Nice fucking work, Hawkins. Just make sure to... Uh, Put it in a memo. Nah. <laughs> Last day. Finally solve one. I think they're coming to get Dario. You think you think they're coming to get Okay. All right, let's see. Let's see. No. No, because they said the handprint on that car for the witness matches Amakar. He was like the last voice of reason for her. Esta noche tenemos la fiesta en el mutiny para celebrar el nuevo trato. You're not Amakar is. Está bien. Yeah. Come on, Zee. Let me kill two innocents. Que me molesta es que tú hayas tenido que hacerlo. Lo que estás sacrificando para hacerte notar, Griselda. He's not wrong. You're welcome. What are you, uh, you're moving or something? Um, I decided that... Homicide, it wasn't for me. He's like, what you talking about? <laughs> like, yeah, the man. Biggest he, he case. Just, he just cracked the first big, knocked the first domino down. Fuck! Get us out of here! Mm. gone Look, too. Both of them. the block too. Oh, they went wild. Look at the, look at the Ooh. intelligence analyst. Yeah. And he can't wait to kick her ass. Mm -hmm. Already made a deal. Oh, no, 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 no,
porque me voy con él. Wow, the betrayal. Traje tus jíbaros conmigo. Instructores de aeróbicos, estilistas, profesores de tenis. ¿Vos crees que nosotros no hacemos bien la tarea antes de venirnos a una ciudad? He said, you let a mail car take the lead. la idea de abrir el mercado con toda esa gente rica. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when you step back, o sea, que fuiste vos. you weakened yourself. El par de huevones. Those idiots could never do it. <laughs> ¿Qué crees? Que me voy a dar el poder pues a una vieja bien bocona y avispada como vos en lugar de los dos huevones a los que yo sí puedo controlar. Dang, you're two idiots I can control. Mm. Mira, sinceramente. You're too smart for your own good, huh? Pues me asustas más. Yep, that's what it is. The door is that way, bitch. Oh, don't worry. I'll be back. German did too. Oh, German's a rap. German's a rap. Yeah, you gotta let it sit on it for a moment. Let me let me handle this. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? That Donna again. Ya toda esa gente para nada. Yeah. Hey, Salud. 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 Well done, kid. She gonna mess around and take the detective's test now. She's like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she ain't quitting. Not after that. What's it matter, Diaz? You got your guy. I got one. You. Okay? This is just the start. Look, I'm putting together what they call a Sentac. Oh! They said the thing! Actually, was having some trouble with the funding, but... Okay. The higher-ups see what's happening around here. They want something done. And it's fucking up our community, our people, mm. not just crime, the way they see us. Mm -hmm. I'm ready for her to, to figure out what's the move, because she always got to move. It's got to be Papo. It has to be. That's, only, that's the first thing. He's the biggest obstacle. Yeah, but, yeah, but he's a boss now, so he's going to be insulated. So even if Papo goes down... German or whoever else is the most respected out of the group will take over. Like, well, I think the easiest person would probably be German first. Then, what does that mean? Huh? Y'all in the chat, let me know what does that mean when she just they took that whole shot of her moving the cigarette across the window. It's a very specific thing. Yeah, it's very specific, right? I, and yeah, and that's the second time I've seen her do it. She might have done it more than that, but I think she's getting her idea. Yep. If you're watching this on YouTube, you're going to see a cut down version of our reaction because we're only allowed to show you a limited amount of picture in picture. But if you want to watch the whole thing with us uncut, uninterrupted, head over to our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash Sintel. Become a member of this channel. You'll get access to the full uncut reaction, but you will need your own Netflix, HBO Max or Disney Plus subscription so you can open up each episode in an adjacent window to our reaction. We'll give you a little time with a small reference video at the bottom of the screen to help you sync up the footage. And it'll be like you're watching it with your favorite pals from the internet. Hey! All right. Hey, man. Yo! Hey, man, it's a good episode, man. I, it's, it's, doing, it's doing a good job of uh, giving it to us uh, piece by piece, but also still making it interesting. You know, it's... um. It's, uh, I like this. I like this episode because it's, it's the halfway point. I think it's six episodes in the entire season. Yeah. And mm -hmm. we've come to the point where if they were to say that this was like the mid season finale, this would have been a good one because we get a chance to see like a really big turn in Griselda. You know, we got mm -hmm. a chance to see her from the beginning of her being just a mom that had to do whatever it is in order to save a family, be a leave of the country, start up some small project, you know, sell a little bit of Coke on the side in order to make everybody happy to the tipping point when she had to kill innocence in order for her to achieve her dream or to, to reach the next part of her goal. Uh, I, I think that's a great place for the mid season because now we can start, you know, the fall. Like one of my, one of my favorite things is, I'm gonna take one more quick moment. I love watching gangster movies, especially movies like, you know, like The Godfather and like uh, Casino and like Scarface. And there's always like, keep in mind, I grew up in an age where this was the, v, the VHS generation, right? And with those movies, you always got two tapes, right? You got the first half, in terms of the first half of the movie, and the second half. The first half is always the rise. It's always the come up, right? It's everybody, take it to the limit, you know, all of that with Scarface. And then the second mm -hmm. half, that second tape, is always about the fall. And I feel like we just got done watching the first tape. How you feeling so far? Yeah. I love 
everything you just said. And you're right. This was a pivotal moment in the rise of the godmother. One of the things that's interesting to me, and like you said, like you compare this to old gangster flicks, mm -hmm. one of my favorite movie set of movies of all time is The Godfather. Godfather 1 and 2 are classics. In the first Godfather, you see Michael Corleone, the good son, the uh, decorated soldier in the military, um, who really wanted nothing to do with the family business. He was raised in family business. He knows what his family does. But you know what? I'm going to be a college boy. I'm going to go and do something different. And he was on his way to do that until his father got hit. And the thing about it is, at the end of the day, that's still family. That's my father. Regardless of, you know, what y'all saying about what my dad does and what the family does, that's my dad, right? And when he saw the how it was being orchestrated to take him out, he changed. And even to get that get back, because he knew, you know what I'm saying? He changed. Now, the only reason I bring all this up is because if you look at that movie, you say, where was the change? When did it happen to Michael, right? So the police sergeant, the police chief or whatever, beat him up real bad. Um, basically when he, you know, tried to protect his father. Um, and then he said, you know what? I need my get back and I'll take him and the other little gangster dude out who's trying to make a deal. I'll take him out. So a lot of people assume that that is where the change happened when he took lives but that wasn't where the change happened remember he took them lives and then he fled to sicily and it was gone for about a year but when his mess followed him and found him in sicily and they killed his new bride mm. and he realized that he couldn't hide from it anymore that he had to fully embrace that darkness in order the only way through it was to go through it you know, and you can have all the designs that you want. Like, you know what? I'm going to do things different than my father. I'm going to make us legit and all the other stuff that, that Michael said. But because he had an analytical mind, much like Griselda, he could see stuff that other people could see. Santino couldn't see it. He was all piss and vinegar. He wanted just to kill. Mm -hmm. Griselda has been beat now three times yes. by Amakar's people. Again, where June was ready to, she laid down, like, you know what I'm saying? And something happened by happenstance on her last day that's going to pull her back in. Griselda ain't taking this down, especially now that she, she, when she confessed to Dario, I killed innocents, two people, you know, and it still, it meant nothing. And then they still, they took it all from me. So right now at this, at this point, it's not only Popo, Popo got to go. It's not only German for betraying her, but it's also Rafa. You thought you was afraid of me before? Oh, ain't nothing like a woman scorn. Like, you, you, going, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because here's the thing, like in any business, you think about corporate mergers and takeovers. If they offer you 15 million, then that means your business is worth at least 150 million. <laughs> And she knew that, you know what I'm saying? Everybody else is like, like, I just wanted to, you know, even I'm a car, you know what I'm saying? He's like, I got this heat on me. Listen, I'm trying, I'm just going to move to another little country, you know. And before long, what you had, you'll spend it all, you know, because you don't change your lifestyle and be like, I ain't making the money I was making no more. Mm. You, you, And before long, you'd be like, you know what? I need to go and get back in. She got vision. She got long-term plans. Mm. And now she has worked her way up. But for them to snatch it all out from her again, listen, yeah. I think that the killing the two innocents was a serious thing for her. But I think whatever happens next, that's going to be the real turning point where she becomes the gangster godmother that we hear the stories about. Yeah. Because however she comes back through this, she's going to realize there ain't no way back. Like I'm going to have to, they're going to have to see the full fury of the, the mama lion to get me. You know, Dario told her, it's a shame that you had to do that just for them to see you. And still in them seeing her and what she did, yeah. it didn't matter. 
because they couldn't wait to screw her over when they got the chance. Yeah. Even German, you agreed to this deal. We made the deal and you was going to get 25% to go on about your way. But yet when it came down to it, you didn't back me. You didn't back us. You even warned me. <laughs> no, that's better if you didn't back me. Mm -mm. You ain't even warned no. me. I walked no, into this net just yeah. unprotected yeah, into I, a buzzsaw. Yeah, I'm going with him and I took all your dealers. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Oh, the vengeance, the vengeance is going to be crazy. Um, yeah, so you know what I'm saying? So that's going to be next episode. We're going to see the vengeance, the get back, and how she gets on top. And then probably episode five and six, you're going to see the beginning of the fall. And episode six is the fall where everything, the walls are closing in on her and she got to figure something out to get up out of Dodge. Yeah. Yeah. I, um, one of the things I really like is the, a lot of times when it comes with this, with the exception of like the Godfather, there's always like people that give advice, you know? Um, mm -hmm. and, uh, I like the bits of advice of we get a chance to watch Griselda grow. You know, we we got a little bit from Rivi, who I thought was going to be a pivotal person, but apparently not. You know, he got caught up with <laughs> he got caught up in the sting and he's probably gone away for the rest of the season. Well, I don't know. They never said that, though. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. We don't know. We don't know. But Rivi kind of like pulled her coattails. Um, you know, Arturo did earlier, the beginning of earlier episodes. Dario has been there as well. You know, we've kind of like been learning on the fly with Griselda and we get a chance to see like the decisions that she makes. Um, so I do, I, I do think that's, that's, that's kind of dope because like I said, the, the brilliance of this show is that she doesn't just come off as just a straight up animal, which I think a mm -hmm. lot of depictions of her has her as, as just that there's, there's a, there's a human side to it. Uh, but we also get a chance to see the departure of that human side. Like, I think one of the last mm -hmm. times we get to see her uh, as a citizen, you know, is that is the family dinner. She's sitting with the boys and they're talking about taking trips. So like, we can go to Brazil, we can mm -hmm. go to Australia. You know, that's probably going to be the yeah. last time we see her as, as, as like, a, like a mom in that sense. When, when she stops uh, in the party supply. Business. <laughs> yeah, the, the party <laughs> supply business. Exactly. Yes. Um. So, you know, now, you know, she you know, got the hair pulled back, ears taped back because we're going full speed. There's it's, mm -hmm. it's whatever that thing is that she realized. And that there was a moment you had said earlier when we were talking about there's a there's a moment that the that the director has been taking that's important. And we haven't figured out why. And so she's sitting in front of the house and she's looking upstairs to the top part of the house and she does this thing with her cigarette and, and it moves over. Now, we're, uh, there's a. There's a screen there I'm kind of looking at and it just showed that when she previously did it. It was at night and the girls are having fun and she did that thing. And it was the moment just before she went into the Bahamas and saw all the coke. Right. Yeah, so that was like a big aha moment. Yeah, it was it was an aha moment. Right. Yeah. So she did that mm -hmm. again at the end of this. Um, I am very curious about that. Let me just let me just kind of like let's let's kind of like get into the numbers behind baseball again, you know, kind of get into the weeds mm -hmm. um, regarding like the way this story is being told. Like, talk to me how you're feeling about the, the how it's being written, how the characters are doing, how the directing is going, how it's making you feel so far now that we're at the halfway point. So in terms of all that, I am engrossed. I am all for the story. Now, one of the things about when you watch a story like this is how much knowledge do you have about the story or about the person, the subject before you come in? So, you know, and like we said to viewers before, Griselda Blanco is no notorious um, in these, you know, in the American crime annals. Um, and if you have seen, you know, cow cocaine cowboys uh, one and two, then you know a little bit about uh, Griselda. And of course, sometimes it's hard to tell what is truth and what is fiction, because sometimes the uh, the fiction um, overshadows the truth. It sounds better. It plays out better. So, you know, you run with the legend. Um, so I do know a little bit and it's hard to know. I know I read that the writers on this, I think there's like three or four of them, <laughs> that they interviewed like everyone they interviewed diaz they interviewed uh june um they interviewed a lot of associates and people who were you know and kind of did an amalgamation put together the information that was true and i don't know you know kind of weave some story into it or whatever mm -hmm. 
Um, but they said they didn't go strictly by the books and other accounts that we have been told okay. or whatever, you know, the documentary style. They said that put together a story because exactly like what you said, what showed her before, because and that's also self-serving in a way, too. You put together a documentary. You don't put together the stuff about where Griselda was just a mom and she did this for this reason. Nobody cares about that. Mm. I want to hear about how ruthless she was. Mm. Why, you know, how did she scare Escobar? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I want to hear about. And watching this, you get to see that turn that, you know what I'm saying? And especially, you know, you're talking about late 70s, early 80s, where they turned her into an animal. All she wanted to do was provide for her girls, her team, and you know what I'm saying? And every at every turn, at every turn, she's these men who have zero respect for coming and snatching from her. You know, Pablo is probably one of the most disrespectful yes. people. He should have been put down. You know what I'm saying? He calls her a bee when he wake up in the morning. He wake up in the morning and uh, uh, that bee, you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> that she on his mind, she is rent, rent free. She got condos in his yeah. head. Yeah, rent free. Like, <laughs> Big you know, and really, and, and really, Rafa said it. He said, "You know what I'm saying? Like, even he had no qualms. Yeah, these. I know who you are. I know what you've done. We did our research. We know what you put together here. These two idiots couldn't have done it. However, I also know that I can control them. Yep. You, you are a wild card, and I, you scare shit at me. Like, you know, yeah. She's a thinker." And I think that's probably that whole conversation when she uh, walked out after the deal was made. Mm -hmm. I think that was the point of the conversation with her and Rivy. I'm thinking, and I don't know this, but I'm thinking that Rivy got away because okay. him and a mill car went two different directions. Plus, you know what I'm saying? He had that chopper for that real. He had true. that Uzi. Yeah. You don't just roll up on him. You better call in the uh, the ghetto bird and all that. Like, <laughs> that boy got it. You know what I'm saying? You don't know how many clips he got. He got a Uzi. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they run around with six shooters. <laughs> Don't run up on that ball. Yeah, yeah. And then we need Miami SWAT. Rivi is you know? not the one. You the, know what? And the thing is, I the, the, the actor that's playing Rivi is killing it, killing it. It's, he is that dude. He just cares. Ass. Yeah, He's, yeah. He, he is. <laughs> I mean, he looked a little sassy, but he looked dangerous. You yeah. know, it's it's yeah. that whole early late late seventy early eighties kind of thing going on, like. But but it's it's a genius performance and stuff because it, what it reminds me of in a different way is, uh, again, you know, like Chuck says, the greatest franchise in America um, in the Fast and Furious, <laughs> the last one that came out, the way Momoa played the played the villain. Yeah. 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 It's like that. <laughs> the sassy villain, <laughs> you know, just, just old sassy Heath Ledger Joker, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, and I can definitely, I, think, I can definitely see some future beef between Rivi and Dario too. That's that's coming. I, you can feel it. It's too, mm -hmm. it's too. And then there's like a bit of a tell too. There's a bit of a mm -hmm. tell when uh, when uh, when Rivi picks up, um, what take, takes Griselda on the ride to to and, and like mm -hmm. pulls her coattails right just before he leaves the hotel because mm -hmm. Dario walks Griselda out and Rivi's like on the other side of the car and he points his fingers and you know he does a little yeah. good thing at him. It's like. Ah, I see a little bit of foreshadowing. I see something. Yeah, but uh, but that's the thing though. Rivy's not intimidated by Dario at all. You know what I'm saying? Like he even said, you know, Dario's your attack dog, and I I see it. I see the way that he looks at you. You know what I'm saying? He's like, you know, you screw him yet? You know, <laughs> um, you know, and that right there, and and that's probably why she has Rivy's respect because Rivy might be the only person that don't want to screw her. You know what I'm saying? He's like, you know, I do what I do, you know. Um, and he actually sees her. Yeah. I think he's going to be the key to get Pablo. Mm, I can see that. I can see that. I can see that. And Rivi, and Rivi's Ronin right now. If he does get away, you know. Yeah. He, he, he's a samurai yeah, Because he a worked master. for a meal car, not, yeah. not Pablo. Yeah. I was an idiot. So I think I'm hoping. I'm hoping that theories are. I'm hoping you're right. Because we didn't see him get caught, so maybe he is still out in these streets. But he's going to be something, you know. Mm -hmm. So he's going to be maybe, you know, her her Lancelot to her uh, King Richard. You know, we'll see. Um, all right. Yeah. Plus, 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 you know what I'm saying? Uh, Griselda, 
she needs more hitters than Dario. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. Dario's solid, but her asking him to take up them innocence bothers him. And then not only that, because she is intimate with him, mm -hmm. that's a whole nother hitch right there. Yeah. You know, I know that he will lay down his life for her, you know, to protect her and do, you know, do what he has to do. But I think that that's, she's definitely a blind spot for him. I can see that. You know, I, can see that. I don't see Dario being a blind spot for Griselda. I think she's smarter than that. And she realized it is what it is. Like, you know, if Dario's in love with her, I can't say that she's in love with him. Nah, I don't get you know that at all from her. At yeah, all. Yeah. Yeah. So, I think but I think just, for Dario right now, yeah. I think she is a blind spot for him. I can see that. I can see that. That's a good place to actually stick a fork in this. Stick a pin in this bad boy. Uh, yo, this show has been great. If you've just been enjoying the conversation, uh, the way me and, uh, <laughs> excuse me, the way me and Rikai just been chopping it up, uh, please be a, friend of the be a friend of the channel and hit that subscription button. And of course, give us that thumbs up because that's how the people know you're digging what we're giving you. And if you want to get to know Rikai a little bit better, Rikai, tell people how they can get, get in contact with you. On all social media, at Diamond Mind, D-I-A-M-O-N-D-M-Y-N-D, -D, because it's all about this right here hey if you want to get to know when we're going to drop the next episode super quick go ahead and hit that bell icon hey thank you so much for all the comments uh this has been an interesting fun show that has not disappointed and we're looking forward to watching with the rest of you guys so we'll catch you all next episode all right y'all